Hey there, everyone. Welcome to a Let's Play of one of my favorite games of probably all time. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, is the third game in the Legend of Zelda series, and it was made for the Super Nintendo. And here's the opening. Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests, legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient power, a golden power that resided in the hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden golden land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the Golden Land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the Golden Power. That seal should have remained for all time. But, when these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, a mysterious wizard known as Aghanim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. Evil magic began to make descendants of the seven wise men vanish, one after another. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. Well, that's the story to A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Let's actually hit start and start our game. So we're going to select a new slot and start a new game. And as always, you know, I was never very good with names growing up. I wasn't a good speller. And a lot of games had a character limit. So I, like the clever person I was, called Link, Link. Okay. And our second Link has no equipment and only three hearts. So let's begin our adventure. Help me. Please help me. I'm a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Agon has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Agon has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I am in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Link, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. I believe that's Link's uncle wandering off. Now Link, being the brave young man that he is, isn't going to sit in bed. You got the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way in the darkness. Now, right now, Link has no equipment other than the lamp. You're short on magic power. Can't use this item now. Watch your magic meter. But he can pick up bushes and toss them around. And he can also jump from ledges. 
These are all useful uh, stuff he's going to use over the course of the game. You can pick up bushes, but he's not strong enough to pick up these rocks. Kind of look like turtle shells. I will give a hundred rupees to the man who finds the descendants of the wise men, the king. Hey, hey, you're not allowed in the castle, son. Go home and get some sleep. Well, you can see that there's this little path that kind of caught our attention, dragging us this way. And we know we can pick up bushes, and this bush looks interesting. Help me. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. I know there's a hidden path from outside of the castle to the garden inside. Well, Zelda, I think we found it. Ah, there's our uncle. Ugh, Link. I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield, and listen. You can focus power on the bet blade. Hold the B button, and release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Link, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... Alright. And our uncle no longer responds to us. But we can swing our sword with the B button. And if we hold B, it will charge our power. And when we let go, we do a spin attack. Spin attack is more powerful than just swinging the sword. And here are our first group of enemies. I'm already off to a wonderful start. Now Link is strong enough to pick up these little pots. And he just got some uh, magic powder to fill up his magic energy. And five rupees. Rupees are the currency of the game. We'll use them through the course of the game to buy stuff. And since we have magic power, we can use the lantern to light those brazier, not braziers over here. Braziers? Braziers are, are not what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're outside. Now, the sword can also cut the bushes, so if we don't want to pick them up. It can also cut this grass here. Sometimes we will find stuff in these bushes. Oh, if we charge our sword and we hold it out... You can also cut through the bushes that way. You can also knock enemies away. Alright, we're in the castle. Zelda said she's in the dungeon. So we should try to find our way down. You can see the spinning attack is killing these enemies with one attack as opposed to two attacks. Now, there's a blue guard up there. As we play the game, you'll notice that the enemies react differently depending on what attack we use on them. Now, right now, we only have a sword. And the lantern cannot be used as a weapon. But we found the stairs down. Okay, here's a blue guard. He took three tacks. And we just grabbed the key. We use keys, not to open treasure chests. You got the map. You can use it to see your current position and the rest of the dungeon. Press the X button. Every time we go into a dungeon, there are certain treasures we can find. Most dungeons have a map and a compass, which you use to navigate the dungeon. Most of them also have what's called a big key. A big key will open the door to the boss of the dungeon, as well as opening the dungeon's special treasure, if that dungeon has a special treasure. So right now you can see we are on B1, and there are five floors to this dungeon. 
There's B3, B2, we're on B1. Then there's floor one and floor two. Floor one is where we came in. And we use keys to open these doors that have keyholes on them. Ah, now. You see that pit? We can knock our enemies in there. We can also get knocked in those pits. We knock an enemy in there, the enemy's gone. We get knocked into a pit, we take some damage, and then get shot back to however we entered the room. Some pits, though, can actually lead us to hidden areas. One of the problems, though, with knocking enemies in the pits, you don't get whatever they drop. And you may have saw that I just threw a pot at one of these enemies. Well, you can do that. You can throw objects at the enemies to use as weapons. But you can't always take them with you to new screens. Ah, I missed both of them. Okay, now, these doors have closed on us. That usually means we need to do something to open them. In that case, we just have to defeat that one enemy. Same deal here. And we got the boomerang. Give it a try. To select an item, press the start button. And here's our inventory. This shows us all the stuff we have right now. We're currently using the lamp, and we can go up to the boomerang. It also shows how many pendants we have, what equipment we have, what accessories we have, and any dungeon items we might have. Right now we have the default sword, shield, and tunic, and the only dungeon item we found is the map. Alright, time to go deeper. And deeper still. Alright, there's an enemy we can use the boomerang on. Now, that didn't really hurt him, but it did stun him. That would leave him open to attack. And here's a new enemy. He's attacking us with this kind of flail. You can see that it spins around. We want to avoid getting whacked by that. Now, he's a tough guy. How do we deal with tough guys? We lob ceramics at them. Oh, and there's the big key. You got the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. And there is the lovely Princess Zelda. Thank you, Link. I had a feeling you were getting close. Link, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Yes, we do. If we hit not at all, she's just going to tell us the same thing. All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. But there's a treasure chest, and there's just a little bit more money. More hearts. Now, Princess Zelda is going to follow us around, but unfortunately, she's not able to assist us in any way. Thankfully, she's not in any harm either. Enemies won't hurt her. And even if we fall into a pit, she'll be fine. Now, right now, the area is clear, but... Given enough time, enemies will respawn. Like him. Alright, come on. Oh, we can also throw the boomerang 
in all eight cardinal directions and use the boomerang to collect items that are far away. Now the tougher enemies get stunned when we hit them with the boomerang. Weaker enemies will get killed. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. Okay, so we are going up to the throne room. We're just going to ignore those guys. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Let me push it from the left. We're going to find over the course of the game a lot of things that can be pushed out of the way. Sometimes pushing them will just get them out of our way, allowing us to walk around them. Other times it will be how we activate traps or solve puzzles. It's dark in here. And that's a rat. Pretty sure rats are weak enough that we can boomerang them. Oh, I'm wrong. But we can light that. Now it's kind of dimly lit in here. We light another one, and it's well lit. We light the last one, and it's brightly lit. Some puzzles that we'll face, we'll need to do that. We'll need to light all the uh, razors in the room to see everything or to solve a puzzle. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Those are bats. Bats. Bats I know we can take care of with the boomerang. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to Sanctuary. Let's be careful. That's a lot of rats. And this poor rat's stuck here. Ow. see there's nothing else here everybody in the stream is correcting me on my uh, Zelda lore I'm getting all the names wrong the snakes are ropes and the bats are keesies something I can show you. 
See how this wall looks unusual? And if you hit it with your sword like that, it makes this kind of metallic clang. That means it can be blown open. But we don't have bombs yet, so we're going to have to let it be. Remember what I was telling you about pushing stuff? There you go. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Now, what switch do you think she means? There's two of them. Should we go to the one on the right? Or should we go up to the one on the left? Hmm. So, just like when we pick up bushes, we go over to the switch, and we can push forward or pull back. But that was not the right one. Because a bunch of ropes just fell on us. So let's try the correct one this time. You have to pull the lever to open the door. Press the A button and hold down on the control pad. Alright, we've done it. We've made it to Sanctuary. Princess Zelda, you are safe. Is this your doing, Link? Yes, it was Link who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, Once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Link, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of, the one, of, of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I'm certain that the castle soldiers will be soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Not worry. Seek the Elder. Do you understand? Well yeah we do. We're not gonna listen to that over again. And let's take a look at this treasure chest. You found a heart container. Your heart level increased. So now we are up to four hearts instead of three, so we can take more abuse. Meet the elder of the village and get the master sword. Link, be careful out there. I know you can save Hyrule. And you know what? I think saving Princess Zelda is a good place to end this game. So when we hit the select button, we can either continue our game or save and quit. So we are going to save and quit and call this an episode. I'm looking forward to playing more of this with all of you. I hope you are too. See you in the next episode.